What's going on guys? Chase on two wheels here. Got my buddy Brian behind me. And you'll notice we got a motorcycle trailer. Now, if you guys saw the last episode of our little mini uh, series of taking a bike, refreshing and giving away to our patrons, the votes are in. They've been tallied and we're not going to tell you what bike it is, but we are here. Mountains behind us. We're here to pick the bike up. We're going to go in and do all the business stuff as the truck turns on. Let us know in the comments which you thought it was. And if you're new here, this is Wrecked Bike Refresh, where we buy a motorcycle, fix it in five episodes, and then we give it away. We literally give these motorcycles away, and the only way we can do that is because of you beautiful, beautiful people over on Patreon. If you don't know what Patreon is, that's how we fund this show, build bikes, and are able to do the crazy stuff we do. So check it out down below if you want to get a really cheap motorcycle. All right, without further ado, we're going to go into the mountain and pick up a motorcycle and then uh, tell you what it is later. All right. All right, guys, we're here at Mountain trying to get this bike. <laughs> I'm not doing this. I don't, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to make transitions. My God. YouTubing is hard. YouTubing is so... Wow, Josh, really? Just, just... I have friends. I don't talk to a camera all day. So are you going to tell them about the thing or not? Yeah. No, we're not going to tell them. They, they can't know motorcycle or anything. They know nothing. All right, Josh, everything's on you, buddy. You got this. Go. What are we talking about? You talk web whatever you want, man. This is YouTube. Here, talk to yourself. My hair looks good. <laughs> talk to yourself. That camera makes me look good. So, we were here the other day, showed you guys these four bikes, and uh, I didn't even talk about pricing, so we're trying to work out money stuff. Did you send in the, the tools pricing? Yeah, so I'm... Where's I'm, your flyer? I All right, we'll figure it got out. the photo. We'll figure it out. We have first ride special <laughs> pricing, okay? So I do first rides with these guys and you can get deals on bikes. That's the joke, if you didn't know. We just did Go one. Watch. All we right, this is what we're gonna do for you. Oh man, so we're gonna spend that much on a... Do they okay. see the results of what they what they chose already? My So the Patreon people know. So if, they, if these guys are watching and they're on Patreon, they know what we're picking up. Mm. But this is YouTube world. So not everybody on YouTube knows. Just the people that support you. Mm-hmm. Which is how it should be. Don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> the perks. The perks. The, per the perks of being on Patreon. Hey, top link in the description gets you to Patreon. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Oh, I gotta still work out. Shit. Okay. Shit. Woo! All righty. Uh, it has been a minute since I have purchased a motorcycle. That paperwork is a lot and takes a minute. So, a uh, bike is now purchased. We're about to get it loaded into the trailer and head home and of course you guys can't know what it is but we did get a good deal thanks mountain much appreciated my car is locked all righty so uh me and brian are getting the bike loaded onto the trailer and we will head to the house and show you where the bike is and then subsequently tear it to pieces sweet see you in a minute and just like that we are here in the garage with the new bike you guys ready to see it of course you are and if you are on patreon you knew that there was one bike that was way outvoted from all the other ones, and that one was... CBR 500R. With no keys. So one of the cool things about Rec Bike Refresh that we all like is that the fact that the Patreon people are the ones that get to choose. So if you guys look at these stats, 165 out of 266 people chose this thing uh, over the other options, which uh, we all kind of, me and the guys, we all kind of knew that the CBR 500 was going to get chosen. And it ended up being really good. So uh, if you guys watched the first episode or you were over on Patreon, you know that this bike was probably the best of the running of all the bikes, but the major issue is that it didn't have keys. Now, Brian, you told us, key set, not a big deal. Nope. That's gonna be interesting, uh, but in this video, I wanted us to kinda like get the bike here to the garage, show you guys the bike, and I wanted us to go over what we kinda think the bike needs so that we can knock that out in the next two episodes. Okay, so uh, let's go over the bike, see what it needs, and see uh, see what we've got ourselves into. We're probably gonna have to take some plastic off in this video, and let's let's see what's up. I think the fun part's gonna be getting the seats off. 
Why is that? Because uh, we don't have a key. Oh. Yeah, all right, let's get a tripod because have you, as you guys noticed, we we're missing. We're, we're Sam's one member today. We're what one member? Sam's missing. What? I don't know what Brian's talking about. We don't have Luke here, so we're on a tripod situation. So uh, we're gonna get you guys on a tripod. Try to rip all the shit off his bike. This is a really good way to show people how to look for stuff that's bent. Can you see that the paint is cracked? Yes. So the crack starts up here, comes through this hole and all the way down. Right. So the paint is cracked because this tab has been bent far enough to crack the paint. Okay. Which is why the headlight doesn't line up. So let's show the headlight. <clears throat> and the headlight doesn't line up in here. That should be all the way down in there like that. But I think this has been pushed back a little bit, so it's not going to line up with everything because this upper stay is bent. Forks look straight. Seals aren't leaking. Frame mounting tab is straight. There's no cracks in it. You can definitely see that this took an impact though because it left an imprint of the bracket that's bolted to it right on it. This is the piece we need to replace. Yep, it's definitely tweaked. Well, I may want to take these mirrors off and take the bodywork off and make sure that all the mounting tabs for the bodywork and the headlight are still good. Right. All right, so we'll do that now. Looks like all the mounting tabs are good. This is wrong and that's wrong. Neither one of those are the right one. Okay, so that'll get fixed. Okay, so we know we need that for sure. Yep. Uh, this is good. May want to put a new windscreen on it. We should make a list. Yep. Are we gonna do that damaged piece of bodywork on this side? I say we look into the bodywork. Like this piece is obviously goofed all the all up on this one. Yeah. But so we have these little plastic pieces here as well. These side panels look fine though. Okay. Now we do have these little handles that have the nicks here, but we were talking about just getting those like powder coated and that just goes away, right? Yep. Sandblast they'll, they'll sand it and, sand and coat it. it and you'll never know that it was there. Oh yeah, you guys need to see like, so this is the exhaust that this bike has on it, which is obviously a piece of absolute shit. So we'll get a slip on exhaust for this. Which one? We'll never know. Oh, well, we, eventually we will. Mm, both of them, damn. What? They're both bent down, if you could see them. Oh, wow, yeah. So both sides are like that, so we're actually gonna have to replace those uh, foot peg mounting brackets. All right, foot peg mounting brackets. Yep. Left L and R. Clutch lever. Clutch lever. Brake lever. We know that the left handlebar is bent. We do. And we know that because there's a little tiny ding in the gas tank, and that's because the handlebar came over and dinged it. So uh, we should probably do both handlebars. Okay. So, oh, right, right, because we have got it. Right, so handlebars and grips. Handlebars and grips. And bar ends. You guys might be wondering, are we gonna do all OEM stuff? Uh, probably not, because if we're gonna be upgrading something. Only the stuff that needs to be OE is gonna be OE. Yeah, because most of the time we can probably get it cheaper and cooler if it's, if it's aftermarket. aftermarket. Yeah. Yep. So um, we're also going to do all the maintenance stuff on it. We have no idea how many miles are on this bike because there was no key. So at that point, are we going to have to just look up what the manufacturer maintenance requirements are at that point? I mean, for me, I would rather just 
fully service the entire machine and call it done. Right. Regardless whether it needs it or not, go in and check everything. Right. And make sure everything is where it's supposed to be, and then no questions. Engine oil, front brake fluid, rear brake fluid, coolant, and then besides that, air filter, spark plug, valve inspection, throttle body sink, lube and adjust all the cables, set tire pressures, clean lube and adjust the drive chain, and then put the whole thing back together with all good parts on it, and it'll be ready to be somebody's fantastic rider. All right, uh, post chase, uh, refer to this video for all the shit Brian just said, because Jesus Christ, I lost count at, at three, to be honest, but I didn't realize we were going to do that much stuff on this bike, TBH. I don't know what I thought refresh well, bikes were going to be, but when we said we were going to do like all the maintenance stuff, that's all the maintenance stuff. That's all right. the maintenance stuff you could do. Honestly, I thought we were just going to buy these bikes, put a little, couple little mods on them and call them quits, but we're talking like. Like, this is going to be a legit... Refreshed. Yeah. All right. So, for our 2015 CBR, we are looking at a headlight bracket, windscreen, powder coat the rear handles, slip-on exhaust, foot peg mounting brackets left and right, clutch lever, brake lever, right side fairings, handlebars, grips, bar ends, throttle cables, engine oil, brake fluid, and coolant. You might be asking yourself, Chase, that's a lot of stuff. How long is this going to take? We're doing it in two episodes. I'm going to say that all that stuff, including all the service work, is going to take somewhere around 12 hours. There you go. 12 hours of actual work time. All right, let's look at where we can find... Can we get all the stuff on RevZilla? I'm fairly positive we can get every bit of that from RevZilla. Hell yeah. I love shopping on RevZilla. You should too. And if you do, we'll have a list of all the stuff we end up purchasing for this bike in the description. So that middle fairing on the left-hand side in silver is $76. Are years. you <laughs> kidding me? I told you the parts for this thing were very inexpensive. This is OEM fairings are $76. Mm -hmm. I love this. Yeah, let's, uh, let's go with that. All right. And we got everything off of Rosilla then. Yes. All right. So, so we have big old 50 we items in the car. Oil? Yeah, we have all the fluids. Okay. All right, cool. That's everything. All right, it's our list. Yep, what's the total? Da, 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 da. Oh, I thought I was going to put it right there. I right. know. Let's oh. scroll down. Let's see where she ended up. You want to guess? I'm going to guess 400. You want to guess again? No. Okay. What do you guess? I'm not going to guess because I'm just going to scroll down to it, but I think it's going to be more than four. Yes. <laughs> ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so slightly more than 400. <laughs> like three times. What was the total? Oh my god. Uh, 1200. Shit. Uh, we might have handlebars in here twice. Sweet, drop that price. Oh, wait, are we under? We're not under a thousand. Dang it. So, what's our grand total now? All right, so we have picked up our 2015 CBR 500R. We've done our Revzilla search and we're gonna drop 1100 bucks. And Mountain gave us a really good deal on the bike. So, that price plus a thousand. To, to make this a legit riding bike. Like a good, solid, let's go. Yeah. That's, I'm pretty, I'm okay with that. We did, we did. We did good. $1,151 in order to refresh this motorcycle. So we're going to get that ordered and then we are going to put it on on the next episode. Hopefully that stuff can get here quickly. Brian, how do you feel about getting like... I mean, I think you would be hard pressed to buy a machine for the price that we got it for. Buy a machine of this year and model that's going to be in as good a shape... After we get done with it. After we're done with it for the price that we will have paid for it in the end. Totally agree. So if you guys are excited for the Rec Bike Refresh, make sure to hit that like button down below. We're gonna get this stuff ordered so it can get here as fast as possible because we try to get this thing out of the garage by Christmas, fam. 
It's gonna be going to one of the Patreon people, so if you were already supporting us over on Patreon, massive high five to you, thank you so much. And if you're not, why haven't you yet? You should check it out down below. I think that's all we got. We're gonna go, we got a big order to make, and we will see you guys on the next one. I'm Chase on Tools, that is Mr. B, or Brian, or Brain, or one of the other miscellaneous names you've been called throughout this entire season. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to hit the like button. We will see you on the next one. Okay. Goodbye. Hi. <laughs> Saw that coming. <laughs>